Okay, let's dive into multiplying polynomials with exponents. Making things a little bit more complicated here, but you'll see shortly it doesn't have to be hard. Okay, so let's start off with 3x to the 4. We're multiplying it by 4x cubed, or to the exponent 3. So when we're multiplying, once again, anytime you multiply, it doesn't matter the order that you do it, but we do know from bed mass that we do brackets and then exponents and then multiplication and division, and we do addition and subtraction. In this case, we've got brackets, we've got exponents, and we've got multiplication, okay? When we have brackets like this, what it's telling us is that everything within the first bracket is multiplied by whatever is in right, whatever's right beside it. In this case, the second set of brackets. So we're going to take this and we're going to turn it into all multiplication. So we have three times x to the exponent four times four times x to the exponent 3. From there, just like in previous examples, we want to simplify things for ourselves by breaking out the numbers and putting them together, and then breaking out the, uh, the variables and putting them together. So that's going to make it 3 times 4 times x to the 4 times x to the 3, or x cubed. And then we start to solve. We can solve this one easily. 3 times 4 is 12. And then we'll just rewrite x to the exponent 4 times x to the exponent 3. Now when we're multiplying exponents, if the base number, in this case an x, so a variable, if the base number is the same, which it is, what we do is we actually take the exponents and we add them together. So x to the 4 is kind of like x times x times x times x. And x to the 3 times x, 1 times x, 2 times x, 3. So how many x's do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, x to the 4 times x to the 3 gives us 7 x's, which is x to the 7. So, what you might notice there is that I have a 4 as my exponent here, and a 3 as my exponent here, and that gives us 7. So, x to the 4 times x to the 3, what we're doing is we're adding the exponents together. Because 4 plus 3 equals 7. So coming back to our original question, 12 times x to the 4 times x to the 3 equals 12x to the 7. Hope this makes sense. What we're doing is combining the multiplication of polynomials and some different exponents as well. If you've got questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section. I hope this was helpful. Have a great day.